Welcome once again to Commander by Dana. Today's video is brought to us by Patreon supporter Brian. Huge thanks to Brian and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Brian reached out asking for a deck led by Zancha Sleeper Agent with a budget of under $200, and I was more than happy to oblige. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Zancha Sleeper Agent is a 3-mana 5-5 legendary minion who enters the battlefield under the control of an opponent of our choice. She must attack each turn, and cannot attack us or Planeswalkers we control. Additionally, any player at the table may pay 3 mana to draw a card, and have Zancha's controller lose 2 life. Zancha is a lot of fun, and the fact that she attacks her other two opponents every turn is a huge boon. Assuming the player we give her to doesn't have the ability to tap her down, or sacrifice her, of course. So, we'll want to clear a path for our commander. We'll also want ways to protect her and recast her as necessary. But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, but this deck will absolutely run more. 2-3 to three board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. 1 sudden I win card. Command Tower. Exotic Orchard. Blood Crypt. Luxury Suite. Haunted Ridge. Dragon Skull Summit. Sulfurous Mire. Geothermal Bog. Smoldering Marsh, Sulphurous Springs, Temple of Malice, Drossforge Bridge, Ractos Crenarium, Bajuka Bog for Graveyard Hate, Myriad Landscape for Ramp, Evolving Wilds, and Terramorphic Expanse for Color Fixing, Reliquary Tower, Eight Swamps, and Nine Mountains. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Charcoal Diamond, Fire Diamond, Talisman of Indulgence, Rakdos Signet, Mind Stone, Thought Vessel, Commander Sphere, Worn Power Stone, Thrawn Dynamo, Decanter of Endless Water, and Gilded Lotus make up our mana rocks. Wayfarer's Bauble, Burnished Heart, and Solemn Simulacrum for Land Ramp, Descent into Avernus, Stormkiln Artist, and Brass's Bounty for Treasure Generation. I know that's a 10 of mana ramp, but it's there so we can draw a ton of cards with our commander if necessary. Big Score, Unexpected Windfall, Seize the Spoils, Magus of the Wheel, Wheel of Misfortune, Siphon Mind, Read the Bones, Sign in Blood, Phyrexian Arena, and Thrill of Possibility make up our card advantage package. Contract Killing, Visions of Ruin, Grim Bounty, Feed the Swarm, Vandal Blast, Terminate, Abrade, Infernal Grasp, Rakdos Charm, Bedevil, Ravenous Chupacabra, Hero's Downfall, Doomblade, By Force, Chaos Warp, Culligan's Command, Cleansing Wildfire, Baleful Mastery, Go for the Throat, and Dreadbore make up our spot removal package. We've also got Offer Immortality and Professor's Warning as protection. Blood Money, Reckless Endeavor, and Blasphemous Act make up our board wipes. Gotta keep things from getting out of hand. 
Shiny Impetus, Parasitic Impetus, Vow of Lightning, Vow of Malice, and Vow of Torment are fun to cast on our commander. Heartstone makes drawing cards through Xantia cheaper. We've also got a light spell copy package in Reverberate, Wild Ricochet, and Reiterate. Finally, to ensure the game ends quicker, we're running Wars Toll. Now that we have our deck list, we should compare it to our checklist. 54 mana sources split between 35 lands and 19 pieces of rain. A little high, but we want to draw a lot of cards through Zancha, so it's fine. 11 pieces of card advantage, counting our commander. 22 pieces of interaction. 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate and Bajuka Bog and Rakdos Charm. No sudden I win cards, but that's not the point of this deck. The point of this deck is to have Zancha's Sleeper Agent on board at all times. We want her attacking favorably every single turn, and we want to draw lots of cards at her controller's expense, then use the spot removal we drew to clear a path so she can finish our opponents off for us. I'm very happy with this deck, and Brian was very eager to try it out. I know there are lots of other ways to build Zanja. What's yours? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jiraiya, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix of Ice, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Brian, Josh, Sean, Oton, and Richard. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.